Hi there everyone, my name is Ryan Roberts and I am a kinesiology student. Uh, I'm seeking a bachelor's degree and hopefully I will graduate in December. So I'm getting really close, fingers crossed. Uh, also, I plan on getting a master's of divinity. Uh, I'm applying to Southeastern right now actually as we speak. So the reason I'm taking this course, first of all, I need an extra credit, but actually I really find communication really important. It's actually one of my passions. Um, to go ahead and begin to dive into uh, my culture and my belief system. Uh, first of all, I'm a Christian. Um, and to dive into that a little bit, we're actually in my office right now. I am a minister at a church in Dawsonville, Georgia. Um, and so I find that communication is really important, um, especially in the field that I'm in. Even with people that uh, may disagree with me, I still think that it's very important to, to be able to communicate across those different cultures and, and even across the different borders that, that I may encounter and experience in my life. I think that communication is very important. I think that we need to begin to look at the world uh, from a different perspective and a different point of view. Um, one of the things that I did get to do during my time in college is for a period of time, I was a religions major uh, back when we were still Gainesville State College and I was able to take a world religions class. And through that class, I got to experience various different religions, and I actually got to go and experience different worship services, including a mosque, uh, a Jewish synagogue, a uh, Hindu temple, and a Catholic church, which is different from my Christian church. And it didn't convert me, it didn't change my faith, it didn't change my opinions on what I believe to be true and what I have experienced in my personal life, but it did give me an opportunity to view these people as people and to understand maybe not exactly why they believe what they believe from a faith standpoint, but to understand the things that they believe from a factual and historical standpoint. Point. Uh, so that, that helped me to be able to understand their culture a little bit better and where they're coming from a little bit better. So if you're someone like me that wants to communicate with these various different religions and uh, maybe even convert them without being full of pressure and, and pride and things like that, thinking I have, have all the answers because I certainly don't, but to be able to communicate with these people and to understand where they're coming from. And beyond that, I think one of the important things that we're learning in this class is to be able to communicate in the world in general. Um, one of the things that we talked about in the previous chapters is we talked about world peace, and I know that sounds like such a, a funny concept, and that sounds like something that isn't possible. And, and maybe it's not possible, but I think that we can get closer to that by understanding one another. Even if we disagree with each other, we all agree that life is important and that our values are important. And so someone else thinks the same way. And I find that very important and I find that uh, very significant. Um, outside of me being a Christian, although that's probably in, in my view, that's probably the most important part of, of me and my belief systems and it influences me the most, but within my culture. So I am a Southern boy. I was born and raised in, in a rural part of Hall County. So I'm from North Georgia. Uh, so I grew up fishing and hunting and doing all those things. And I, I find those things important and I value those things. And I understand that can even be controversial um, in, in its own way. And so I think that it's important to understand the, the other perspective and the other point of view. Um, but that's some of the things that shape me. Um, also, I'm a youth leader, and so I spend a lot of time with teenagers. I'm, I'm fairly young myself. I'm 25 years old. And so I view the world a little bit differently than maybe my parents and maybe my grandparents did. I see things a little bit differently. I'm a little bit more open, I believe, and I hope, uh, to other cultures, uh, other people, other people of, of different races, different nationalities, things like that. And I think that's definitely a big positive because ultimately we are one race. We're the human race. Uh, even though sometimes the world doesn't always agree with that. But I think that's that's very important. Um, being a youth leader has enabled me to be able to um, see things from teenagers' point of view. Um, I found it very interesting and, and really amazing um, that, that the suicide rate has grown very significantly, even from just the time from when I was in high school. I don't ever remember someone... 
uh, committing or trying to commit the act of suicide. I'm not saying someone didn't and, and they just never got found out, but, but it never happened in my community. And so it's happened multiple times in my community since I've been out of high school. Even this past year, there's been three teen suicides under the age of 18. And that's very bothersome to me um, because I care about these kids and I care about my community. But I'm trying to understand where they're coming from and why that is and, and what's going on in their heads. Uh, because even just a few years makes a huge difference. And so trying to see things from their point of view and their perspective, I think matters. So not only do I think it's important to see things from a cultural standpoint, a race standpoint, um, different nationalities, different places in the world, different religions, but I think even age matters and makes a difference. Um, one more thing that, that I want to share. Um, I recently took a class on aging and epidemiology for my kinesiology major. And so that allowed us to see things from, from the perspective of uh, an elderly person, an older person that, that may be in the final years of their life and to see what they value. And their values are very different because they grew up in a different time period. And I'm not just talking about the negative things that we think about a lot of times, but I'm talking about even the positive things, you know, technology, things like that. They don't understand it the same way we do, but we can help bridge the gap with technology to be able to create things that, that helps them to have a, a sense of purpose. Uh, and that was one thing that we really got to focus on in that class, and it was a lot of fun. I got to spend time with um, an 83-year-old who was actually uh, really funny and beat me in a board game. And so we had a lot of fun, and it was really interesting to see her perspective. And we talked about uh, the 19, uh, I think it was 34 tornado that happened in Gainesville. And, and just the way she saw things change, we can learn from that. We can learn from her experiences. And so I think that that's a, a very important part. And that's one more thing that I hope that we talk about and that we get to experience in this class. And, and that we get to talk about together. Um, so in summary, uh, I'm Ryan. Um, I find culture important. I think communication is extremely important. Uh, for me, that means being a better communicator um, through my faith and through things like that, but even outside of that to be able to understand other perspectives and other points of view. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Um, I know we may not be in person, but I'm glad to meet all of you, and I hope that we get to experience some pretty cool things together. Thanks. I'll see you guys later.